Well, as everybody knows, we had a really hard year with uh, the drought, and so our final production was down about 32%. And if you consider the fact that we were only about 1% lower on the planted acres, that really tells the story that uh, the yields took a serious hit from that severe drought and the extreme heats that we saw over the summer. And that was across the board, across the state, and across all uh, wheat classes. The uh, irrigated and non-irrigated people suffered um, probably not the same because obviously the dry land had no real irrigation options, but the real severe temperatures also uh, affected the irrigated growers a lot this year. Um, so we certainly saw some dry land areas have 40% of normal, um, so they, they, they certainly suffered more and, and that's one advantage that we have here in Idaho is that with the irrigation, uh, a year like this maybe we only drop 30% as opposed to 40-50% where some of our neighbors were in, in that category. It was a real stark difference in 2021 because it followed the record production of 2020 where we saw about 112 million bushels produced here in Idaho and in 2021 we had just over 76 million. That was about 97 bushels per acre across all wheat classes and this year we were down to about 68 uh, bushels per acre. So again 32 percent lower than the year before and that follows record yield record production and now we're probably the lowest production in maybe 40 years. Yeah, we're seeing a classic example of supply and demand right now as uh, world stocks get very tight with both lower production uh, here in the U.S. and in Canada and also Russia continues to adjust their final production numbers lower and lower. The world just can't buy enough wheat so prices have really skyrocketed and unfortunately for this region we don't have a lot of extra bushels to take advantage of those prices this year. Um, a lot of our growers, of course, smartly had committed their, their bushels and, and sold a lot of uh, their production uh, with contracts and unfortunately there's just not a lot left over this year to, to take advantage of those high prices. We're expecting to see at least the same amount of acres, if not maybe a little bit more. Idaho has a, a pretty consistent crop rotation and growers seem to stick to that for the most part. They have a little bit of flexibility, but uh, we're certainly looking for more rain. We need additional rain this year. We've seen a slight improvement the last few weeks with the rain that we've, that we've received, but um, we're still in really severe drought conditions. Um, so looking for probably the same amount of acres, but hoping that we'll get some rain to, to help with the yields this year.